dealing with Netspin, I found out that they partnered with MetaBank. And I did some further research about MetaBank, and I really didn't like the things that I saw and heard about MetaBank. They really, it got to the point to where they, we all get live text messages and things of that nature. I felt like they should have sent out a mass text message to all of MetaBank users, whether it was RushCard or NetSpan, but they failed on that. And it was to the point to where it was up to us as customers to find out more information and they weren't speaking on anything. So I just felt like MetaBank could have did a lot a lot more to help us out, being that you know we use them often and for years. And they kind of fell short on that. And the fact of them not saying anything at all really kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And it caused me to actually shut and close out my account with Netspend. Even though I like Netspend, but they're partnered with MetaBank and I really truly do. I, I don't want to do business with them ever. That was probably like, I want to say that was the 17th. That was the weekend, the 17th. And I always get my direct deposit on that Monday. And that's the whole reason why I decided to set my net, my direct deposit up with Nespins because instead of getting my pay on Wednesday, I get paid on Monday. And here it is Monday at work and I'm like, where's my notification? And so I had another coworker that we ha actually have the same, he has rush card and I have Nespin, but our, our stuff usually hits at that same time. So I waited. So I was like, okay, so it's 5.30. Maybe it's because of the hurricane, maybe? So I start to Google, and I was like, okay, well, let me just see if they're having, like, a malfunction or something in Nesman. So I step outside after Google, and I couldn't find anything. This is on Monday. And I go out to talk to Nesman, and they really didn't have much information except for they're having some technical issues. And I said, okay, um, so when would my deposit be posted? Because my deposit is set every day, every week on Monday. And then they told me, check with my HR, my, my payroll. And I'm like, I haven't touched it, haven't done anything. So for me, it was like a red alert because I had bills that needed to be due. I had things that are set up specifically on Monday because that's when I get paid. And did further research, got in contact with my other coworker, and he was like having a, a fit because his car just broke down like a week before. And so he was saving his money so that he can get it out so he won't have to keep calling Uber. And so it was so many frantic people. Then I went Googling some more when I found out that it was a MetaBank issue and not specifically Netspin. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? And I still, I have not received the deposit at that time. So I didn't receive my deposit until, I want to say, a whole week later. And it's probably like that Friday, I want to say, or Saturday. I can't really remember exactly, but it was a couple of days after I did, you know, my research. So my experience with it was just like frustrating because... I had to go without, like, a lot of us, like, I, sometimes I live paycheck to paycheck. Like, I try to leave money to the side, but this freaked me out to the point to where I was thinking of better ways to manage money for myself and not put so much trust in these banks and these organizations to where we're really relying on when they, they give us our money. We worked hard for it, but we're relying on them to d distribute it to us. So, yeah, my experience is like, eh. <laughs> That's probably like a thin line and by a long shot, but you know, I know a lot of people need second chances or third chances or offer those moments, but they, what they could do better, you know, as far as alerting their customers ahead of time when something opposed to their accounts and we're not being no, notified that this is happening. Like we have to make other provisions for things to happen. If we do not know how we're we able to sustain, there's people, there were people that were going through evictions, people that were, you know, losing their cars, people that had children that they really were living check to check, but yet they didn't see the sense of urgency or to care enough to allow us to know. So we're frantic and yes, you're gonna lose, you lost a lot of business because you did not care about the customer. You did not care that, you know, we had to 
to find out. We we bet you got paid. <laughs> we bet that you had the funds that you needed. But at the same time, it's like for Medibank, for me, it was just, it was kind of like um, they didn't let us know until the till the till the situation was resolved. You know, oh, we're having an issue, but it was an automatic um, like voice recorder when you called in on Medibank. But we had to call in, like we were notified until we looked at our accounts to realize what's going on. And then communication from NetSpend to Medibank was completely off. Like NetSpend, they could, they could do nothing but blame on the employer. Medibank didn't say anything, just a voice recorder. So it was just like, no one was physically there. No one's physically knowledgeable about what was going on. The communication was off. To do better, you want to let your customers know and to show that you care by notifying them of an issue that so they can go about their lives and try to take care of the issues or, you know, make better, you know, provisions for what they need to do in the future. But to just leave it out there in the air and have people, you know, go, get on forums and voice their opinion on how they feel, like, I felt like they should have took in that responsibility. This was something that happened on your watch. This is something that you have to take accountability for. These, this is what happens. And if you knew the deposits were coming in, what's wrong with go ahead and front the money? The, fun, the money is coming in. You're a bank. It would have been nice to be able to have those funds because it wasn't our fault. It wasn't something that we did. And yet it happened on your watch. These are the things that you have to take into consideration. Technology. Things happen, but at the same time, it's, it, it was it was sickening, it was saddening, frustrating, most most importantly. And then to read like all the comments that was left, I felt I felt sorry for a lot of people because their means of working to get resources to be able to help their families, single mothers, single parents, people who come and work hard for their money. We had to sit there and wait. It wasn't right. So better communication alerting your customers sooner and if by all means if you have to take the responsibility to go ahead and extend funds that's already coming in why not your bank you can do it mm -hmm.